Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q. Welcome to all of you lovely souls. I will you all are enjoying your moon day. I will that you all have the day off and you're just taking that time out to just unwind, to relax, maybe to get some things done, maybe even to reflect. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to jump in and give you all a download, you know, see what's coming and going out, going on. There is a lot happening uh, in the universe, like with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia is really, really, um, you know, starting to uh, make these necessary shifts, uh, purging certain energy. There's a lot going on in California. The weather has been wonky lately. Uh, there's been floods. There's been volcanoes, tornadoes. There's been all kinds of things happening all across the globe. And these are uh, very, very telling moments. Uh, so we, it would behoove us to all, you know, be um, in, be in alignment, you know, connect with Mother Nature more, be more in harmony with Mother Nature. Uh, some of you all may need to change your diets in order to do so. Uh, some of you all need to meditate more, connect with Mother Nature uh, by going out into nature and just grounding yourself, walking barefoot uh, on days that you can, even if it's cold, even if it's too hot, like just stand on the soil so that you can receive the download, so that you could also purge whatever you you no longer need to carry with you. Uh, there is a shift happening, beloveds. There is a quickening happening. And if you are not paying attention, um, you could get lost in translation. Um, so I've been really like taking a lot of time to connect, uh, to meditate. I've been connecting a lot with my instruments. I don't know why, but I've been feeling a calling to connect with like my instruments. Um, and just really like working on myself. I've changed my my diet like overnight like it's crazy because you know i'm i'm i, I love chocolate you know what i'm talking about like that is one of my 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 uh vices is the love of chocolate uh but i learned that chocolate is not really a, a bad thing it's just excess anything and too much and too much of anything could be bad two 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 on the clock six uh so i've been listening and trusting my intuition which has been leading me to making some changes to my diet um i have been like avoiding meat um i received the download uh no meat like meat is off off the menu forever <laughs> like not even just for a couple of months like i'm not eating no meat um the way that it came to me sometimes when i take showers um i receive downloads um there's an additional message i received also about cannabis about herb about marijuana um but with the meat i was i was given like this vision like it, it's poison like it literally like the, the way they were showing was they was giving me like, you know, how biohazard that symbol. It was like it was showing me that in my mind's eye, like spirit was telling me like the food is being poisoned. Um, your best bet is to eat leafy greens, things that grow from Mother Nature, grow from Earth. That's going to be your strength. Um, the meat has a whole lot of chemicals. Um, poisons they put nitrate in it to make the meat look all red and, and, and you know whatever but it, you know to maintain that color because otherwise it would be like looking all brown and gray um, but they pump up a lot of, of uh, you know um, antibiotics and all kinds of things to make the meat bigger um, they also hormones uh, it's just really unhealthy so spirit was literally like, you need to stop like right now, like today, um, because I had been eating chicken. I had stopped eating meat for years. And last year, um, I could really say during the pandemic, I started to notice I was eating things that I normally wouldn't be eating and I was eating out a lot. And so spirit really like grabbed me up, yoked me up this year. This year it was like instantaneous. I started the changes right before um, the new year was like, okay, this is it. Um, I had made, you know, the traditional uh, Thanksgiving meal. I mean, not Thanksgiving, um, the tradition, because we didn't even eat a traditional thing. I didn't eat no turkey for Thanksgiving. I think I made Cornish hens. Uh, yeah, I made Cornish hens. I made some black eyed peas. I made some rice. Um, I made some green beans. Um, and what else did we make? I feel like there was something, I think it was some macaroni and cheese, but like, it was the Cornish hens that 
you know, I, I could do a Cornish hen. I could do something smaller in size, just some big old diesel pieces of chicken and meat. No, I can't stand it. But um, spirit like was working with me and telling me like, look, you need to really stop this this eating of of meat and flesh. Um, even though they say that you know the the animals were um, they were ethically, I guess you know they 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 they. they how do they say it? They say it in a way where it's just like it's a mind uck because it's like nothing can be killed ethically, to be honest with you. So it's like whatever they say, I don't know, maybe they don't, the animals don't see it coming. Um, but all of that energy, you know, people don't realize like energy transfers even from the animals, you know, even from the animals. So that fear. Um, I remember watching a video a couple of years ago where these cows were heading to like the, the, the slaughterhouse and it was like you could see how the mother was holding and nurturing and kissing her, 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 um, you know, her cattle, her baby, because she knew her cub, because she knew what was to come. She knew the doom that was to come. Animals are highly intelligent uh, beings and to, to just be feasting on flesh, you know, is just not my thing. I'm not judging anybody else, but these are the downloads that came to me. So spirit is telling me that some of you all may need to change your eating habits. Um, I don't even like that word diet. I, I, so eat, change your eating habits, change your eating regimens, um, eat more leafy vegetables. And when you're eating those leafy vegetables, make sure you're not buying your stuff from like a Walmart. Walmart stuff, everything is compromised. Every single thing in Walmart is compromised. They are getting so um, so clever with hiding, um, you know, with hiding the bioengineered information or, you know, the GMO information. Um, they're literally getting clever. And so things that I was purchasing, say, two, three years ago that I, that did not have the GMO, I'm finding and have been finding in the past couple of years that those things have now been compromised. I even stopped shopping at Aldi's, uh, which was really good because they were importing a lot of their groceries um, or a lot of their produce um, from other countries and now I'm noticing like a lot of their products um, are, are now saying you know bioengineered and this and that so I don't buy anything I don't ingest anything that has that bioengineered because I don't know what that means I don't know what you're putting in there I don't know what you're you know compensating natural with you know and, and placing what artificial I don't know what that means so I'm not even going to participate um, there's been times where I've gone to the grocery store purchased some things because just like I I said in the past previously my memory um, served that like oh these things were not compromised and then when I get to looking at it right before I you know proceed to cooking my meal and I look on the back of the label guess what's there bioengineered so I throw the ish out I don't even use it I throw it out in the trash where it belongs so some of you all may need to start like being more mindful um, of what you're ingesting beloveds because the same way everything is starting to be exposed and I have to speak in codes and you have to follow me um, the same way things are being exposed now from what has been happening in the past two years from 2020 on uh, there's been a lot of sudden, you know, sudden demises, uh, people just falling out. You know, there's been a lot of things going on and a lot of it is obviously connected with, you know, that, um, you know, the hot shot. So it's like for those of you who chose to take it, there's no judgment because we were all in, you know, a state of disbelief. We didn't understand what was going on. And so you were being told that this was how you should um, move forward, you know, to maintain your health, your safety, not of your, not only of yourself, but of others. Um, and so some of you may have, you know, gone and got that hot shot. Um, and like I said, I'm, there's no judgment, you know, because this was new to everyone. No one has ever experienced anything like this before. Um, and to now be in this place where we're starting to see record numbers of people just falling out, collapsing. Um, just so much is happening in the world. So it's really imperative. Your health is your wealth. Your health is your wealth. I don't know how many times I could stress that. So 
really taking accountability of what you are ingesting. That means stop eating at fast foods. If you don't see these people preparing your foods, if you don't know what they're putting in the foods, you shouldn't be eating it. Your body is your temple. So there's a lot of things that we need to break. A lot of these habits, um, you know, that we may have developed during this pandemic, during these, you know, very um, crazy times. Uh, it's like you got to break those cycles now and you got to get into a whole new routine and a whole new regimen. Um, so like changing your eating habits, uh, drinking more water, getting out, getting that sunlight, sitting amongst the trees, being amongst mother nature so you can receive the downloads so that you could receive that outformation and information so that spirit could connect with you to let you know what you need to do you need that spiritual guidance you cannot sit around listening to the news all day long and think you're going to get some jewels and gems um, they're not going to tell you anything about how to protect yourselves they're going to pump fear in you and that's about it so you really need to disconnect from that vice uh, of, of looking outside of self to save self um, and, and start connecting more with a higher power, with your higher power, with your spirit team, connecting more with your spirituality because this is a seven universal year. But I digress 11, 11 on the clock. So that was cloth talk for you all. I literally when I went outside, I saw um, 11, 11 on the back of a license plate. And uh, I'm going to show you because, you know, me, I likes to show and prove I may use this as my um, picture because I just saw it so here's 1111 it says uh, 7483 I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can 1111 is also you know that's a vibration of number four uh, four is also about the heart chakra the heart space um, loving yourself being um, Definitely, definitely in a space space of loving thyself. But anyway, I digress. So welcome to any of you that may be new. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am also an empath and I am Claire audience. So you will hear it, hear me playing during this reading um, music that will resonate correlate to what i am channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be reading and the way that it works is the name of the song name of the artist lyrics within the song even the timestamp on the clock it will all correlate to what i may be channeling and it just blends very beautifully um my spiel is eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply let it fly by know that you're more than just your sun sign so check your moon your rising your Mer mercury your mars check your other placements for a more clear uh and concise message for you um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has found you, uh, that was divine timing and in divine order, beloved. So I digress now to get into the reading. I've been just kind of like giving y'all the spiel. These are the messages that have been coming down. Also, spirit just reminded me about the marijuana download that I received in the um, bath today. I was doing a spiritual bath. And um, one of the messages that they they, they downloaded was that um, the herb is being compromised as well. Not only is the food, but the herb is also being compromised. 13, 13 on the clock. 13 represents death. Um, death, it represents transformation, um, it represents even a rebirth, um, an emergence of, of you, a new concept, new mindset, new you know belief system, ideology. Uh, but when you have something that's being compromised and it's not being compromised um, in a positive way, uh, I feel like that's another reason why you know certain uh, there's certain involvement in the cannabis industry. Um, you've noticed a lot of you know, a lot of, uh, of, 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 um, a lot of, uh, how could we say, uh, government official, like a lot of government people, a lot of people are getting their hands into the cannabis industry. Um, and we got to question that a lot of people are purchasing herb from these little, you know, smoke shops. And it's my thing is, do you know where it's coming from? Um, did you see someone literally sit there, grow a plant? That's how I grew up. Like back in the days, I used to go to the Rastas. I'm not trying to stereotype, but in New York, that's who I went to. I went to the Rastas and the Rastas had, you know, chocolate tie and they had a lot of herb. Uh, and in those packets of herb, you could get a tray bag, a, a, a dime, or you could get a, um, a Twinkie, um, <laughs> a dub is what they used to call it. And, you know, there would be seeds, 
you know, there would be seeds in the packaging which let you know that it was natural. It was grown from the earth. Anything real produces seeds. You know, it starts from a seed and it will produce seed, you know, and that's how you, that's the continuation of life. Um, and so when you see something absent of a seed, um, that ish is artificially grown, beloved. I don't know where they're getting this herb. They got all kind of names, gas, fuel, uh, all this crazy stuff. I, ugh, you know, so some of you all might need to hit the brakes on that um, and, you know, start looking into perhaps uh, if you are a herb smoker, maybe, you know, being that it's damn near um, legal in in the states maybe grow your own figure out how you can get some some real seeds and grow your own uh because purchasing from these little spots um you don't know what you're smoking beloved you don't know what you're smoking and they could be putting stuff the same way they're lacing cocaina and all these drugs and we're losing all of these amazing artists and entertainers and a, a lot of these um you know hip-hop stars or actors uh from laced cocaine and it's laced with fentanyl um you don't know if they could gonna start doing that with the herb you know so it's it, it would behoove you you know um i'm not i'm not like a, a a a dedicated it's like i'm more like you know every now and then when i'm being creative i might chief a little something something but for you all that are like daily just in a zone like be mindful of what you're chiefing 16 16 on the clock that's 7 7 that's 14 that's 5 so i'm i'm speaking to some of you all that needs to hear this that's also the throat chakra um so some of you all may be like so stoned you're not tapping into your divinity you're not tapping into your gifts if you're smoking herb and you don't feel creative or inspired to do something with that energy that's not the herb for you you shouldn't be smoking something that's going to have your ass knocked out for 12 hours and then you getting up whole days gone um you don't have no energy that's not that's not recreational that's not that's not good you know what i'm saying when you come out of something feeling like stuck and and and, and almost like lost you know in translation so um if that's the type of herb y'all are smoking you might want you know switch it up a little bit uh because the herb is really supposed to like enhance um, your thoughts, your creativity stimulate you in a way that makes you more, you know, um, productive. I mean, look at, look at, you know, the likes of, of Jimi Hendrix, look at the music that he was able to create and produce that people are still to this day, um, jamming out to. I know I got some Jimi Hendrix in my playlist. Look at Bob. I mean, he inspired, you know, the world with his music, you know, so the herb is not the issue. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the herb has been compromised because it was really connecting people to their divinity, connecting people to, you know, their true gifts, just like all of the rest of those, um, you know, the rest of like, you know, the mushrooms and things of that nature. There's people who take those, um, those, um, you know, those shrooms, uh, and they connect to spiritual, um, you know, their spiritual, uh, deities they connect to spiritual beings in other dimensions uh that's what the ayahuasca retreats are about people have been doing ayahuasca like crazy it's like almost like you know a fad now that like all these rich folks are going on ayahuasca retreats because they done bumped into somebody and it's like you know these these are real means and methods that will connect you to a completely different state of consciousness uh but in order for it to be productive for you, um, you got to be in the right mindset. You got to be in, you know, control of your own thoughts. You can't be so influential, um, you know, because those are the ones that take those trips and they never come back. You know, they lose themselves, you know, off in La La Land, literally. Um, you know, so just be mindful uh, with what you are ingesting right now. I'm, I'm really feeling that message. Um, and one of the other messages that came to me right before I did the reading was like, yo, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So preparation is key. You know, um, there used to be a show. Um, I forgot what channel it used to be on, but it was called Preppers. And it came out around like 2011, 12, 13. Around that time, I remember I was either pregnant or, you know, just before I was pregnant with my son. And there was this show called Preppers. And they was really showing you. Um, you know, how to prepare for, you know, the so-called Armageddon and the world. There were people who had bunkers like 
12, 13 levels down underground, um, stacked up. They've li literally figured out how to uh, create like a filtered water system. Uh, people had like stocks of food, you know, to last them for years. Um, they, they have, so this is a real thing and we are coming into different times. Um, I've had some dreams, beloved, uh, especially in the middle of like last year, right before we came into this year, but like towards, you know, like around my solar return around my daughter's solar return, um, which is like in July, um, I just remember having like these really crazy lucid dreams and in those dreams I was seeing like aircrafts in the sky and it was complete mayhem you know what I'm talking about and there was like it was a lot going on in my dreams and I've had those dreams a couple of times um, and so I know that when you have a dream and you remember it that is a message you know what I'm talking about that is not by happenstance that is not a coinky dinky uh, that is a message so there is something coming in beloveds and you have to be ready you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready all right so I digress um, you know maybe some of you all are on the frequency and you feel in the same way I maybe some of y'all are like you know I'm preaching to the choir right now but I just wanted to give y'all some cloth talk because it's just getting real you know what I'm talking about like it's getting real out here we can't sit around and 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 and, and play with the energy like I'm a reader I focus on love but I also want to be a realist as well and let you know what's also going on I really don't like to focus on negative energy because whatever you focus on you create that in your reality so I always like to stay in a zone where I'm gathering the information that's being disseminated but I'm also um, you know it's being filtered in a way where okay that was a forewarning or that was a red flag or that was some some download I needed and now I have to prepare myself in my way um, to deal with that just like we had to do when that whole CV jumped off in 2020 we had to figure out a way to to still coexist you know and life didn't stop for us here in North Carolina like we kept taking our nature walks we kept going outside when everybody was locked in and afraid of going out we was actually outside and seeing how the animals were coming out you know they were they were like they was not even afraid anymore it was like they were literally like we would see deer just walking in the middle of the road we would see the birds just kind of chilling in the middle of the street everything was back to normal and it was because all of the energy that we produce as humans all that fear and all that stuff it wasn't being it wasn't outside you know it was being stuck indoors and so when we was going outside um, there was some downloads the sky looked different I remember looking up at the sky and looking at the Sun the Sun was completely different it was brighter um, it was almost blinding to look at the sky and there's times when you know I was sun gazing religiously like every day I would wake up at a certain time sun gaze take my shoes off sit outside in the soil and just sun gaze and I would have my you know my hand in certain mudras um, and just receiving the downloads you know what I'm saying and it really really opened up my pineal gland and I was able to see more it was like I was activated you know fully activated so with this energy now that I'm feeling this is a seven universal year very spiritual times you know um, very spiritual times and this is really I'm hearing the purge you know um, 2323 I just saw on the clock that's five five that's ten so that's that the purge is the is the ending of the old life as you knew it and have known it for so long it's no longer it's never going back to that you're never going to 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 have that 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 um that time where oh wow this seems familiar like this is new energy we're coming into every ending denotes a new beginning so this is the end of that cycle and it's the beginning of something new but what is new is what we have to be preparing for because it's not new in a positive way it's new in a way of like now there's going to be other challenges other things the same way we had to deal with you know being in separation six feet apart and masking up and v you know taking the hot shots and doing all of this stuff there's going to be now it's like almost like they're amping up on the fear tactics they're going to start doing more uh the food is going to be compromised so you need to stop eating out you need to start buying your groceries from like Trader Joe's um, I heard some things about Whole Food I'm not sure because I've never uh, I've never um, 
uh, shopped there, but I do remember hearing a couple years ago they was like exposed that their food is not as organic as they you know as they say or proclaim. Um, but yeah, you know, and you may need to just start shopping at like you know some of these. Um, you know, some of these grocery stores that get their food, like they import their food, like maybe an Indian grocery store, an African grocery store, uh, you know, maybe even going and shopping at a kosher store uh, because they they literally, you know, their products, their food is um, isn't compromised, you know. So if you go to like a... Um, you know a kosher grocery store you should be as you should be okay as well um but i digress okay my loves so let's go ahead and do some house cleaning i call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ah shay i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards help me to pick up on the energy number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards and so it is beloved so mode it be ashe 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 it is officially 302 on the clock so that is the number of change that's also the number of the hierophant the hierophant is all about learning it's about spiritual strength it's about seeking wise counsel it's about sitting at the feet of an elder master teacher a maternal or paternal figure someone who's skilled someone who's well learned this is about also studying uh researching growing improving this is about maturation elevation Elevation. Um, we have who is this? We got nice and smooth uh, playing, and this is called sometimes I rhyme slow, sometimes I rhyme quick. But nice and smooth is kind of like um, you know sticking out to me because nice and smooth is like what we we you know how you want to move. You want things to be nice and smooth. I feel like things are uh, going to be nice and smooth as long as you take the reins and you control the direction. Um, that you desire to go. So let's go ahead and get some messages from the numerology deck, beloveds. Give my cards a nice little bang, bang, boogie. Wake them up, beloved. So we have 66, and this says healing on the bottom of the deck. So you're healing from something nice and smooth. So something has been like, you know, especially with this double number, I feel like, you know, you are um, mirroring the energy of someone that could be coming in. Uh, but healing is the focal point right now. So the 6-6 six, six breaks down to 12, which breaks down to 3. And 3 is the number of, you know, that beautiful Empress energy. So this speaks to like, you know, reaching that level of self-mastery, healing, growing, learning, following your own intuition, using your discernment. I feel like you've been taking your time because you want to get it right. Um, that three is also giving me like the three of wands. That's about planning, preparing, strategizing to take action. Uh, so healing, focusing on the healing. Three is also associated with the solar plexus. Uh, so that's about your strength, your courage, your wisdom. That's also about healing at a soul level. Um, you know, really standing perpendicular in your square or standing erect standing up for what you believe in um being strong willed strong minded the stomach is also uh you know it acts as a second brain so it's about trusting your own intuition it's about you know using your own inner wisdom uh 28 28 that's 10 10 so that is that ending that karmic cycle completing something coming full circle uh with nice and smooth i feel like now that those karmic cycles have ended now things can be smoother um now now that you've gotten like you know some of the negativity out of the way now that you've healed from past pains because that 12 also reduces to three which is like the three of sword after you've healed from some sort of backstabbing betrayal dishonesty uh infidelity or maybe even just a loss um you are now going to have like a smooth uh things are going to be running smoothly you know uh on the split we have happy ending so this is again another three 93 reduces to 12 that's three so three three and that reduces the six remember it was just um it was six on the clock i forgot what it or was it five i forgot that quick but anyway so this this um 
three three breaks down to six which is also like you know the first eye chakra but this is also giving me like the six of swords moving away from anything that caused drama pain aggravation um anything that was really acting as like a block in your life you've moved away from that to create a safe space a sanctuary of sorts and you're going to have a happy ending uh this card wanted to showcase because it just kind of slid out when the cards fell out of my hand so maybe you have a new love this could be a wish fulfillment this could be someone coming towards you um but i feel here with this uh happy ending i feel like after you've healed after you focused on healing yourself um you've taken accountability you've learned to you know take some sort of onus for whatever has happened in the past uh and now you're you're coming into a happier time uh this is a very happy uh very uh you know very um very vital card it's illuminating it's very very i just get a sense of like elation peace satisfaction um and it's like you know something you've manifested something that you could sense is coming because that purple is associated with the crown chakra and we have um smoky robinson and the miracles and this is called Ooh baby baby so, you know, maybe there's someone uh, that could be coming in because that love partnership, uh, you know, just kind of slid out to be shown. Uh, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a love partnership. Maybe this can grow into a very strong friendship, uh, maybe even a work relationship, a partnership in a business. Um, but there's something coming in. With miracles, I do feel it's a wish fulfillment because that 26 love partnership was the number 8. It was 26. So with Smokey Robinson and the miracles, I feel like this is a miracle. Some sort of wish fulfillment that could be coming in. Uh, something that could be something you've prayed for, wished for, hoped for. You know, so we got a couple of cards that slipped out and I feel like these are your messages. Spirit chosen for you. So you have spiritual partnership. This is the overall energy. You have teaching and learning. This is the person you're attracting. How they feel about you. 96. Forgiveness. What's hidden in the energy. Self-love. 61. The outcome. Self-discipline. 41. So everything that has been like <laughs> said in so many readings before this. This is just confirming, validating. And we have 81 leadership. So somebody's returning uh, you know, in that energy as, you know, the emperor, you know, someone who's been taking their time to get things right. This is somebody who's been keeping a low profile, somebody who's been in like, you know, that hermit mode, you know, the hermit is a wizard. So you got to kind of like disconnect from the outside world so that you could hear your own thoughts so that you could receive those downloads. We got bars, skags, this is called low down. So I feel like, you know, maybe someone had to really, you know, keep a low profile, like I said, um, just be kind of out of sight, out of mind so that they could work on themselves. That's a about like introspection reflection self-realization even self-discovery uh and once you've learned something it's like now you're going to take flight now you're going to move forward uh the overall energy says spiritual partnership so there is a very uh you know sacred connection spiritual tie soul tie uh bond this is like a destined um reu uh, union or some sort of destiny type of love um this is someone that you have a very strong spiritual connection with synergy with um this is definitely like the overall energy uh the person you're attracting with teaching and learning that breaks down to 12 also that breaks down to three uh this is like you know someone who is definitely drawn to you and attracted to you maybe they're learning uh you could be teaching them every great healer has to first heal themselves so i feel like you guys could be teaching this person because they see you as an empress you know they see you as the yin to their yang um 3333 three, three, three. so this is a sacred union Absolutely, because 333 is associated with the uh, Ascended Masters. So there is someone very sacred, someone that is uh, being aligned with you. Um, this is someone who's been learning as well, someone who's been in a very studious energy, uh, someone who's also experienced hurt, pain, trauma, uh, and they've learned by watching you heal thyself watching you ascend make these necessary changes uh you could be single independent self-sufficient um they see you as a, like a pre-emperor status um and this is someone learning from you this is someone who is you know definitely going to have you're going to have like that happy ending remember we saw 93 and this is literally like 93 so this person 
wants to have that happily ever after with you because uh, remember this 57 breaks down to 12 that's three and this 27 is nine so that's nine three and that card uh that happy ending card uh this is the person that wants to bring you totally elation um but the challenge how they feel about you is this 96 so they do feel like you are guarded uh they also feel like you may judge them um they are afraid of being judged uh we got 96 so spirit is saying that you know this person feels you're very intuitive um they also feel like you know you've already moved away so this is part but this is potentially like someone that you left behind uh because you learned something from this connection uh and what you learned was you know self-love makes you more attractive you also learn with love you know was love was an inside job um you can't look for someone that is absent of you know love to shower you with it so this person had to learn from you uh with teaching and learning this is you know someone who's open to to growing to maturing so that is a beautiful energy so what we have hidden is we have self discipline i mean self-love so this was the lesson you know was someone needed to learn to love themselves someone could have been like you know caught up in those karmic relationships incubus succubus type of dynamics dealing with a lot of fake and fugazi people this could even be self uh self-deception uh and with self-love that 61 uh they learn to create boundaries because i'm getting like the seven of wands uh to create boundaries and to stand up for what they believed in uh so maybe someone is really um you know, looking at you as someone who has love and respect for yourself, which is why you moved away, why you could have been very guarded. Uh, and this is more attractive, um, you know, and, and they understand now, you know, maybe their ways were a little low down, a little fugazi. Maybe they was, you know, doing a lot of little um funky things you know little sneaky uh you know little things little tactics and now they realize like you know they got to put the guard down they're learning um because that 41 is the five yet again so that five again like i said is dealing with the hierophant so this is someone taking the time to work on themselves there's a lot of self talk self realization self work self health um self healing self value you know this is self-love someone's taking the time to work on themselves and not just on their heart chakra um but also on expressing themselves expressing love not being guarded not not like um self-sabotaging because when you are in that energy where you're not giving as much as you can because of fear of being hurt or fear of looking a certain way appearing a certain way because i'm getting like the seven of pentacles you know where you know someone is not really um cultivating the connection the relationship as much and so maybe someone walked away uh you know as a show of, of, of self-love you know like not overcompensating any longer in a relationship where they felt like there was no equal give and take or reciprocity we have prince purple rain here i would die for you so this is someone who definitely has you know somehow looked at this whole situation and now they're feeling like you know this is a connection that they would be willing to to fight for um this is someone with that especially with this leadership i was just feeling like somebody bossing up someone taking control you know and that self-discipline that's somebody who's been taking the time to work on the self this could be your energy or the person you're attracting to you scorpios so let's tap in let's see what we got in the moonology deck and we have show the world the real you so someone was not being their authentic self and that's why they had to learn you know because someone was kind of like afraid to be vulnerable afraid to show love maybe because they were you know hurt in the past that 57 this is the energy of the person you're attracting that reduces to 12 so that's three so this could be someone that had their heart broken in the past maybe from their own mothers 38 38 that's 11 11 this is your twin flame i feel this is definitely a twin flame um so that whenever you see teaching and learning and spiritual partnership um there's no doubt about it that this is absolutely like a twin flame union uh, this is a destiny type of love. This is something that is written in the stars. I absolutely feel like this is someone um, who has like changed for you, changed for this connection, changed to be a better person. Um, with show the world the real you, this is someone who could have possibly been hiding, um, you know, hiding from the reality. Um, maybe they were just, you know, kind of like 
kind of um, compromising or just settling in a certain mindset or in a certain relationship uh, because we're about to pull a card for you know the spiritual partnership and it says show the world the real you so perhaps this person has not exposed how they truly feel on the split we have communication is key so yeah this person has difficulty expressing themselves communicatively um even being vulnerable you know and i feel like this is some healing that they had to do they could have learned from you because this teaching and learning is here so they've watched you have a complete um you know elevation of consciousness you know and so this is like inspired them to do their work so let's tap in and with purple purple is the color of the crown chakra so that again deals with you know the download someone could be communicating with you intuitively telepathically you know maybe someone is you know crying a lot because the rain is an element of water so someone could be crying you know maybe dreaming of you you know, maybe there's, uh, wherever this person is located, there can be a lot of rainfall. Maybe there's a lot of flooding, you know. So we have, um, who is this? We got war, me and my baby brother. So someone uh, could definitely be going through some sort of, um, you know, maybe they're going through some, um, some, like, family disagreements arguments with me and my baby brother uh but even just with war maybe there was an inner war maybe someone was fighting some battles it could have been a spiritual warfare that could have been up against um this union you know uh especially with spiritual partnership there could be some sort of war against this union you know there could be some 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 players behind the scenes trying to block it or was trying to block this connection you know, maybe someone came in between this union and, 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 you know, that could be what it was. So we have on the bottom of the deck that says communication is key. And I literally just shuffled like crazy. So someone will be communicating with you and expressing to you how they feel. Um, I do feel like, you know, this is someone who could have had uh, some some sort of battles going on that you may not have known about. Uh, this is someone who could have been like really um, going through some some war with themselves because this is twin energy. So this is like, you know, this is a Gemini card. And that's really, um, they say Geminis have like two personalities. So maybe this person was going through some war of, you know, the mind. The mind is the devil's playground. So they could have had a battle of trying to choose and decide, um, fighting against what they knew. Um, which is, you know, how sacred this connection was fighting against, you know, the change that they knew they needed to make because maybe they was, you know, staying stuck in a codependent relationship. Um, there was definitely some sort of spiritual warfare uh, that was happening, you know, because uh, I'm, with war playing, you know, I feel like this is someone who could have been... Um, really battling it out on a spiritual level we have bring love into uh this situation so this was someone holding back you know um this is someone holding back because maybe they suffered a lot of pain and hurt uh but they learned you know you learn from uh what you go through you know um or what you grow through pardon me uh so someone learned from something they grew from and this is that they need to start being more emotionally intelligent available communicative um and just attentive overall so why is this teaching and learning here for my beautiful Scorpios and the person they are attracting. Thank you, Spirit. So we got two messages. And it says a time to give rather than take. So what did I say? This is someone that was not reciprocating those gestures of loves. You know, this is someone that was not really making the effort. You know, wasn't really cultivating the connection. You know, so this is someone that just came around to take, but they didn't really, you didn't feel the reciprocity. You didn't feel like this person really cared, you know. And we have prosperity lies ahead, and this is clarifying how they feel about you and the forgiveness. So spirit is saying like the situation will be prosperous, but it does call for, you know, uh, there to be some compassion shown. Forgiveness is always for you, Scorpios. It's not for the other person because forgiveness just shows that you've let go of any of those emotional um you know, anchors, anything that could be emotionally or spiritually anchoring you. Um, and we have uh, Minnie Ripperton inside my love. 
So this is someone that does uh, want you to be inside their love. They want to be inside your love. Spirit is saying prosperity lies ahead. So when you forgive someone, I feel like the reward is you will be... Uh, you, I feel like when you forgive someone, you will be rewarded. There is some sort of gift, some sort of um, opening. Uh, these are all new moons. So this represents a new cycle. It represents a new beginning. All of these cards says new moon in Gemini, new moon in Virgo, new moon in Taurus. Some of you all could have a moon in Taurus, a moon in Virgo, a moon in Gemini. That could be like your moon sign. Um I'm a moon in um, Taurus, so this is this is powerful that prosperity is lying ahead. So some of you all are definitely uh, coming into some very prosperous times. I feel it could have a lot to do with love. Maybe this is inside my love means just you loving yourselves. Like I said earlier, love is an inside job, and when you love yourselves, you exude you know that love, that self care, that confidence, that strength, that poise. You exude that energy to the outside world and you become more attractive so on the bottom of the deck it says step out of your comfort zone so whoever this is that's very guarded you know could be potentially like blocking what universe is trying to send because this right here is a shooting star this is like a star twinkling and spirit is saying like you got to step outside of your comfort zone um and that's you know about like you know kind of like putting your guard down 45 45 so there's a change necessary and it and nine nine reduces to 18 which becomes nine again so that definitely is saying that you know there is some positive changes nine is the highest number of change nine is also the hierophant so who i mean the high priest the high priestess or the high priest i said the high priestess the um hermit pardon me y'all so the hermit is that wizard and so you know when you are in a comfort zone it's like you are very fixed in your um, expectations or you're very fixed in your mannerisms and your ways of looking at things and spirit is saying it's time to break that and step out of your comfort zone um, you can still protect yourself maintain boundaries um, but you don't have to be like super protective or over guarded or maybe some of you all are just like in a space where you're not letting anyone in because when I think of the seven of wands, that's very, very guarded. Like he's fighting off anybody trying to come in and approach and spirit is saying like, okay, we get it. You're protective. 46, 46 on the clock. That's 10 set. It's time to end that mindset. Um, it's time to, to go, uh, you know, forward with a whole new, um, mindset with a whole new, uh, perspective, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what spirit is telling someone here. So let's see, why is this uh 61 self love? here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Finish the shuffle. Bottom of the deck, your dreams need a practical plan. See that? And so we have hold your vision. And then we have the answers you need are coming. So with this here, it says hold your vision. So there is a fight for what you believe in. Um, because that seven is also about like, you know, it's about standing up for what you believe in, standing in your power, um, speaking your truth, not backing down. Um, so you're holding your vision. Maybe you have a specific um, thing you are manifesting. Maybe there's a specific intention you're setting and it's about love, 47, 47. So, you know, maybe someone has this about you. Maybe someone is willing to come in and fight for this. Uh, there's definitely someone you've had a lot of, of difficulties with. These mountains denote, you know, a lot of difficulties in the past overcoming so you know certain hurdles obstacles within the relationship and now there is some sort of and didn't I say fixed you know you, you could be kind of fixed used to things being a certain way and so that's what this is that that 61 is really like um, you know being overly guarded it's like you could hold a vision for yourself and set the intention but you don't have to be super duper um blocked emotionally you have to still be receptive in order to receive whatever it is you're looking for bottom of the deck it says your dreams need a practical plan so spirit has given someone an opportunity um to you know perhaps initiate uh some sort of 
some sort of um, new endeavor with self-discipline. It says the answers you need are coming. So the communication, that 41 breaks down to five, which is the throat chakra. So someone has learned how to express themselves or commun communicate, you know, effectively um, and, and honestly, truthfully, uh, because they know that you're highly intuitive uh, with this new moon in Gemini card. I'm strongly feeling like, you know, this is someone who could have been like, you know, kind of like, you felt like they were uh, kind of like two-faced or maybe there was some level of deception you may have felt like because Gemini's get get uh, you know they kind of get called out for having two different personalities um, and I mean that's a part of their makeup you know and so maybe this is something that you felt maybe this person had a habit of saying things um, and not really you know uh, keeping their word maybe they said a lot of things and it came off very deceptive because they didn't uh take initiative to you know to um follow through with what they may have said uh but the answers you need are coming so maybe someone is apologizing maybe someone is confessing something that you know uh we have tweet and this is called my place so maybe someone will tweet you a message uh maybe someone will you know kind of reach out to you and you may invite them over to your place so that you all can have this dialogue this conversation um but i do feel like this person is feeling uh very much compelled to express a truth to speak a truth to uh share something with you that you may not know um, like I said, okay, so we got another card that just flew out and this is the sacrifice card, which is the hermit. So this hermit card, uh, is literally what I just broke down. So the hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he seeks are found within the hermit also, you know, makes a lot of sacrifices, um, to get to the answers to, to, you know, ensure that, you know, whatever, um, Whatever knowledge he's seeking, whatever truths he's searching for, um, they will be found. So this is really like that studious energy, uh, seeking seeking the answers, you know, seeking for the truth, you know, seeking and being in a space of solitude, you know, so as to receive those downloads, so as to receive, you know, the, the, um, the information, alphamation, but this is someone, there goes that star again. Um, and the star is really how someone, you know, has some sort of epiphany of a wish of a desire of something that, you know, they, want to be fulfilled you know some intention that they want to be fulfilled uh and it is in regards to some sort of communication that will come in out of the blue unexpectedly from someone that uh is deemed a spiritual uh partner or a twin flame a yin yang this is nine and nine so again you and the person you are attracting uh are mirroring one another's energy um and this nine just speaks to both of you kind of like being in that space of solitude um seeking out the answers uh working on yourselves mastering yourselves uh because you both have grown spiritually there's you you've obtained spiritual strength on the bottom of the deck we have reward so someone sees you as and recognizes you as a reward, as the divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, this is someone that does want to come in, make the effort and give to you. Uh, maybe in the past there was a lack of reciprocity or a lack of show. And like they didn't show and prove how much they cared. Um, maybe someone will invite you to their place. Uh, but whatever it is, I feel like this person, uh, the name of this album is Southern um, Hummingbird, Southern Hummingbird. Uh, if you could see that in that small writing. So maybe some of you all are dealing with someone from the South who's a Southerner. But they do feel you are, um, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment. These are three, three. So this is, again, mirroring the energy of the person you're attracting. And remember, we have teaching and learning. So this person has been learning from you because some of you all have been receiving like recognition and rewards. Maybe in your career, you've been successful. Maybe you have a business. Maybe you're getting a lot of recognition, um, you know, in some of your uh, different um, online platforms. Uh, if you have maybe you have a pop 
popular TikTok uh, account. Maybe you have a popular Instagram. Maybe your YouTube is, is popping. Uh, but they see you receiving a lot of, of recognition. They also see like spirit has anointed you. Like you may have some sort of gift, um, a spiritual gift. Like you could be someone who is, um, you know, in a higher rank spiritually. Uh, maybe you're a psychic, maybe you're a scryer, maybe you're an intuitive, uh, maybe some of you all are um, spiritual practitioners, maybe you are into hoodoo, voodoo, juju, um, you know, maybe you are uh, someone who is, um, you know, just working um, on your spiritual spiritual self. So let's tap in. Let's tap in. Why is 57 teaching and learning and a time to give rather than take here for the person Scorpios are attracting to them? They have a message of love and light, beautiful spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. And we got discontent and bored on the bottom of the deck. That's the number four, which is the number of the divine masculine. So some of you divine masculines are very bored right now, very discontent, feeling like life is just like dull. Give me a moment. I'm like cotton mouth. Shay. Okay. So we have trapped in fear. So someone is caught up in the rapture, like up in their thoughts, up in their head. 54, 54. There will be a change, you know, to this. And this is like someone who realizes you're their twin flame because this eight and three reduces to 11. And that was on the back of that license plate that I saw today. It was 47, eight, three. Or three eight whichever one but this is really showing like this twin flame is up in their head because maybe they've had some sort of um, epiphany as to who you are what you represent in their life uh, this is someone that definitely um, you know has some sort of regrets I feel because they didn't express themselves they didn't communicate um, we have uh, we have um, DMX featuring Jay-Z and Nas this is called bath salts and so when I heard this I immediately um, was hearing like, you know, a spiritual bath, um, because, you know, with, with the, the, with bath, you use salt, you could use sea salt, uh, to, to do perform a spiritual bath, just to, to cut any type of attachments, five, 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 five. So that's 10, 10 on the clock. So this is someone who could be, uh, definitely going through some sort of spiritual warfare. Like they could have had a karmic that did some sort of, um, love spell on them, binding spell, freezer spell, something. And this is why they're trapped in fear. This is why they may not be able to communicate. This is all self-deception, self-imposed by the way, because this eight is giving me like the eight of swords. This person is up at night. They feel like, like, you know, caged. They feel imprisoned in their mind. And remember what I was saying about the mind being the devil's playground. Um, so this could be self-imposed or this could be someone who could have manipulated this individual's energy as well. Uh, maybe this is just their own guilt. You know, they're, they're kind of like guilt tripping, uh, which is why how they felt about you was the forgiveness. Like they're really up in their head, hoping you will forgive, wondering if you will forgive. Um, and that's why that, you know, uh, um, time to give rather than receive so this could have been someone that just kind of took from you you know they every opportunity they would just come around almost like uh energy vampire to some degree i'm getting and that's why they feel like a little trapped stuck because they don't have your energy to feed off of anymore and dmx is an acronym for dark man x so the person you're attracting may need to do some sort of spiritual bath because they could have some sort of dark entity that could be attached to them um and this is why there's so much boredom, so much fear, you know, their head is down in both of these pictures. So they, they, you know, there's a lot of worry, a lot of concern, a lot of fear, you know, associated with this, um, you know, this connection or maybe with the next steps they are to take. So let's tap in. We got Don Cherry. This is called Relatively Sweet. And this is an album that came out in 1973. So Don Cherry. So they feel like you are absolutely like the cherry on top. They feel um, a relatability. Like they feel like you relate. Like, um, But they also feel like this connection is relative. This is a profound connection. Um, they feel like they could have, you know, total elation as I heard earlier in my mind's eye when that happy ending showed up. They feel like they could have, you know, that happily ever after with you right now. With you out of their life, they feel very discontent, very bored. They feel like, you know, their life is just kind of dark and gloomy. Why is this 96 forgiveness and prosperity lies ahead here for how this person Scorpio is attracting feels about them? These cards all flew 
downward see that they all were down only card that flew in the upright is the fertility and this is exactly what i said they feel about you is you are the empress this is the empress in this deck they feel like you are very creative very powerful very attractive like you birth new ideas you have a connection to mother gaia to universe your heart chakra is completely open so you're emotionally intelligent they feel like you are absolutely divine energy 58 58 i just saw on that clock so that's 13 13 remember we saw 13 on the clock 13 is really about transformation so not only have you tra changed and transformed and evolved into this very powerful divine feminine but i feel your person again is learning from you because you are the umi the mama you are the queen the empress you are the goddess you know you are the lordess this is person is aspiring to become the, the Lord, um, you know, the king, the emperor. Um, so they're following your steps. They're following your um, footsteps. Um, you are the cherry on top in this person's eyes. You are like, you know, the reward. You are that wish fulfillment. Uh, this six and three still reduces to nine. So you all could be like single, um, you know, very self-sufficient, independent, uh, very happy, satisfied. You have a lot of success in your life, you know, stability in your life. And you've done this like all on your own, just through your hard work, your effort. Um, and that's why, you know, you have abundance that's lying ahead waiting for you because you've planted seeds in good faith. You've done the work. You've worked hard. Uh, and that's exactly what this person wants to do now is form this alliance, um, build with you connect with you, grow with you. Uh, this is someone that wants to be like your um, your divine counterpart, I'm feeling. This is someone that definitely can see themselves like uh, forming this alliance and you all like having, you know, uh, building a legacy, uh, building some sort of like, you know, generational wealth for your families, you know, raising children, raising... Um, you know, just raising the vibration and frequency of, you know, the collective even coming into a p powerful union. Because uh, this is, you know, a spiritual partnership that we have uh, developing here. So these cards that flew out, let's see what those are. So we have heartache and loss. And there goes that three of swords I was picking up on. We have that clarifying that. I'll put this here. We next have ch obstacles and challenges. And then we have the light. So there was a lot of pain that someone had to endure and go through. Uh, but through all of the trial and error, they could not lose sight of what was most important, which was the love of self regardless of the heartache and loss someone has experienced they went into this this isolation um almost like the wizard going into that cave to you know really self-analyze to self-reflect to introspect um to self-discover and what they realized was that they had a lot of challenges before them based off of perhaps some of the people they were around some of the self-talk that they could repeated back to themselves, maybe even having, you know, people that were in competition, competitive individuals. Uh, but with you, they felt there was relatively some beautiful uh, synergy. They felt a warmth with you. They didn't feel the challenges. They didn't feel the heartache. Um, and they've maintained this vision, whatever this vision um, of you they had, they maintained it. Uh, and this inspired them to to work on loving um, themselves first because that's what they saw you do was start working on the self, you know, um, because self-love is more attractive. So now that they've seen this light, you know, the light always represents the truth. Someone is coming in to speak, you know, speak truth to power. Uh, because this 41 breaks down to five. That's the number of the throat chakra. So this person is now, you know, taking control, being more confident, even assertive uh, to express whatever it is that they have to say. Because this person knows now, you know, the answers um, 
need to come from them. They need to express something. And this truth that you receive or the light that someone obtains, you know, the illumination, that clarity, that aha moment, this epiphanic moment, maybe they see you in a whole new light. And this is why there is this sense of, you know, now coming in uh, to, to clear the air or to, um, to restore this union because this 19 breaks down to 10. So it's almost like, you know, that old mindset, that old ideology or belief system, habits, behaviors, mannerisms, you know, even communication, you know, whatever their old talking points were. It's like they realize that's not working for them. Um, they need to level up. They need to, you know, reach another higher level of communication because that's only what you're checking for and they're going to take action you know this is like a new beginning you know that not 10 breaks down to one which is you know like a um, brand new start one is always associated with the magician so they are manifesting you back uh, because their their dream and their hope is to uh, form this alliance you know to come back into union they want that happily ever after here so let's tap in beloved so let's see what we got from the African to Mer uh, American Tarot, on bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups. So someone from your past could be returning to offer. You know, both of these hands are extended. So it's like spirit has been working with someone. Maybe this is like, you know, the angels are kind of teaching someone. Someone may see you like, you know, standing you know, on your soapbox, maybe some of you are communicators, or maybe some of you are entertainers, some of you may have your own, um, you know, platforms where you do a lot of uh, speaking. This person could be watching, you may have a lot of people watching, but I feel like now this person is realizing like, you know, they have to give because remember that was what their lesson was for the person you're attracting is, you know, this time around, they have to give more than they take. So maybe this person has learned a lot from you and this time around, um, they're going to show and prove um, or they're going to give you know they're going to give um, be more giving more generous um, you know be more generous this time around on a split we have the nine of pentacles and I did mention the nine of pentacles so this is how they see you they realize you know like you've done all of this hard work on your own you know this is you all your seeds that you've sown now they're harvesting you know, your, your produce is, is flourishing. You're, you're abundant. You're successful. Um, you've stayed busy and remained very busy. You didn't get distracted by anyone. And I feel like, you know, it was because you chose to walk away from people that was just constantly taking and not contributing, not, you know, putting forth the effort so that everybody could eat. Um, and you just stayed focused. You know, this is that energy of really, um, you know, taking care of the self. Um and growing and learning so we have two cards that just flew out and this is justice so we have justice here so karma dharma and then we have the two of cups i can't make this up so justice is clarifying the spiritual partnership uh so there was a karmic situation and you could see that this you know this uh um, masculine is like shooting their arrow. So this was all about uh, someone who did not take the opportunity to shoot their shot, who is coming back around this time around. Um, and that nine of pentacles is still on the bottom of the deck because this is how they see you. Self-sufficient, independent, very busy, uh, working hard to achieve and acquire all of the success that you may have, all of the rewards, uh, because that's the energy of the empress. Nine of pentacles is like pre-empress, pre-empress status. So this right here is what they are learning Learning from they're realizing uh, in this time of solitude in this time of learning in this time of self-reflection um, you know who their divine counterpart is um, and also realizing that they have to communicate and express how they truly feel this is someone who has been really working internally and spirit has revealed to them who their wish fulfillment is who they deem a wish fulfillment and this is someone that will come out of this and shoot their shot because this is the download they receive from spirit is to take action to shoot their shot to express themselves to speak their truth because the justice is all about as I said, karma, dharma, but it's also about a truth coming out, expressing a truth. Someone could have to um, leave 
a relationship, a domestic partnership in order to come towards you because communication is key. We have the nine of pentacles still here, but also the ten, I mean the two of pentacles is clarifying the person that you're attracting. So remember we had teaching and learning. And what better way do you learn than from, you know, your divine counterpart, the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. In each of these photos, there are couples. Uh, there's a couple here. You know what I'm talking about? There's a couple here and there's a couple here. So this is a divine union. This is a divine connection. This is someone that you are meant to be with. Someone who has been taking the opportunity to heal from whatever pain, from whatever loss, from whatever uh, circumstances um, that they've endured with their karmics. Um, they are taking the time now to lick their wounds and to heal from those pains, to grow, more importantly, from those circumstances. And what they've learned from watching you is that they have to work on themselves. This person is trapped in fear based off of the decisions they didn't make in the past or the action they didn't take. Um, they could have taken advantage of you didn't give enough. Maybe there was a lack of communication because communication is key is the first card that came out. So maybe this person never really expressed or showed interest in the way that they now feel it so heavily. They feel a very strong connection uh, because this is what is, you know, going on in this person's psyche. You know, they're really troubled, really, uh, you know, um, anxious over this union, this connection. Uh, someone feels like they could have equal give and take, that you are like that divine counterpart. Um, someone, some of you all may receive a phone call tonight because uh, we got Red Man tonight's the night. Um, rising power to Hurricane G. She just passed. Uh, but, you know, so someone definitely is up in their head. This is self-imposed mental anguish. Spirit is kind of nudging someone. Make the call. Take the effort. Um, give more than you are expecting to receive. So instead of just kind of like doing the same thing you've been doing and it not working for you, it's time to change your MO. It's time to switch things up. Step outside of your comfort zone like the cards were saying. And, you know, step into your power now. Because this is how you're coming off, whether you're feminine or masculine. You're coming off very sure of yourself, very confident, very poised, very protective, very powerful, very beautiful, nurturing, loving, maternal, paternal, um, and, and, and very, you know, um, very much a master manifester. So you can't come into a connection with an empress or an emperor like unsure, you know, stressed out, worried, you know, so maybe someone is going to snap out of it. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing, um, I, I think that's, what was the name of that movie? Uh, goodness. Oh man, it's in the top of my, oh man. Snap out of it. What's her name? Cher. I was seeing that movie. I don't know why I, I heard that. I heard her in my mind's eye. Snap out. She smacked the mess out of the dude and was like, snap out of it. But that's what this person needs. They need to snap out of it because this could just be negative self-talk. But we do see the self-love, the self-discipline and as the out outcome. So I do feel like someone does like snap out of that, that negative mindset, that negative self-talk or that woe is me, victimhood mentality, you know, um, you know, but I feel like it's really because, you know, there could be a little intimidation, you know, along the way. So we got the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So why is forgiveness, um, prosperity lies ahead and fertility here for how this person sees our beautiful Scorpios or feel about our beautiful Scorpios. There goes that chariot. So this is the balance. This is someone finding balance. This is someone being grounded. But with the, the card that came out is judgment. So this is someone who's had that epiphany. Like I said, they've had a wake up call. They now see the truth for what it is. They see you in your true light. They know what this connection is. They've seen the changes. Like you've reached this level of self-mastery. They see you as someone that's very uh, prosperous. And it's because you've worked your ass off to get to that place. Nothing was handed to you. This person could have wronged you. And they are desiring your forgiveness. They do not want to be judged by you. Um, maybe this is just something that's going on in their head because they are the ones creating this dialogue. Uh, they're trapped in fear based off of, you know, their past actions. So it's almost like a guilty conscience. You know, their guilty conscience is kind of like stressing themselves out. But I do see that they push past that fear and they charge ahead uh, assertively, confidently, um, because I do feel like, you know, when you love yourself, the truth becomes more apparent. 
um, and you know you, you you stop being a victim uh, you stop singing the woe is me songs and you start you know you start stepping into um, reality you know what I'm saying because remember we had relativity playing um, earlier so I feel like this person kind of stepped into reality they started to be real with themselves opposed to just speaking um, you know some sweet nothings to themselves so with this hold your vision um, they always maintained you know that that desired outcome um, they always maintain that as a vision so maybe they just you know always kind of kept you um, kept you as the prize at the end of the story even though things may not appear to be uh, moving in a positive light they always maintain the positive outcome whenever they thought of the situation and they will charge ahead uh someone could be living in a state where there may may have recently been uh those uh tornadoes um georgia recently was hit with a tornado i believe california got hit with a bunch of floods and tornadoes uh so someone could reside somewhere um you know, in those locations, um, be mindful because I do feel like the weather, you know, like I was saying earlier in my build, how the weather has been changing, things are changing. So be mindful to, to stay abreast to what's going on, um, you know, wherever you are located. Uh, watch the weather channel. If you're going to watch anything, watch the weather channel, see what's happening um, in your locations, in your localities, uh, because there could be some, you know, some, some uh, tornado watches that you all should be privy to, aware of. Um, like I said, there was just some, some tornadoes that touched down in uh, Georgia. I know We've been having some tornado watches here in North Carolina for the past um, week or so, you know, so just be mindful. Um, but I do feel like maybe there could be uh, someone traveling to see you. Um, this is also someone finding emotional equilibrium, finally getting out of the space of hurt and pain um, and moving past that and rejuvenating their spirit and choosing to move full steam ahead because uh, the three and five reduces to eight. So that's taking action. I'm getting like the eight of wands uh, and they're also spiritually guided. If you look, these little bugs are creating a path of light or a ray of light. So that this individual walking the plank could see where there is, you know, um, you know, one misstep could they could plummet to, you know, their death. So this is this is like spiritual guidance. Um, I was feeling like this was uh, definitely a protected union because spiritual partnership is saying that your angels, your guides are conspiring behind the scenes. So someone definitely uh, has some angels and ancestors walking with them, uh, you know, protecting them and leading them toward you, um, leading them to, you know, a, a space of healing. Um, a space of restoration so that's beautiful and then withhold your vision i feel like it's also because this person um you know has maintained a positive outcome uh we have who is this and this is d'angelo and the vanguard it says another life let me show you why is that changing another life so maybe there is uh this is a uh, you know a past life love this could be you know again you know an ancestor you know in the spirit realm living another you know that's another life so an angel ancestor in the spirit realm kind of nudging someone to move forward the 61 is also that seven which is about you know moving forward you know feeling more grounded balanced and alignment this always reminds me of like twin flame energy as well because of the dual bulls so this is like you both are you know moving full steam ahead um, you know, in the same direction. So let's tap in. Why is this 61 self-love? There's three sudden loss, five obstacles and challenges and hold your vision here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. We have a message of love, a message of light, spirit. Thank you, spirit. And so we have this uh, page. This is either, which is this, the page or the, I always get this messed up. I think this is the um, Knight of Cups. So there's someone that's definitely rushing in, I feel, with an apology. Uh, this person feels like you are a past life love because this is another life. So you could have met this person in a former life. And this person is charging, you know, ahead. This is someone that's going to be very, you know, very courteous, very charming. You know, this is someone that's going to be different from how they may have acted in the past. And we have the Page of Swords here. 
uh, and this is clarifying the 41 uh, self-discipline the answers you need are coming along with the light so someone has seen the light and that's why they're spying someone could be watching you from a distance this is someone who kind of blends in. They can have a dummy account. You may not even know this person watches you or kind of spies on you, but they definitely do. Um, they've had an epiphany. And whatever this epiphany is, they realize that they need to provide some answers or they need to clear some things up. But someone is really uh, wanting and desiring to communicate. And they are kind of like off in the background. You know, this is like even a secret admirer this is someone who could be kind of watching and stalking you also um you know stalking your stalking your activity you know trying to keep tabs we got the four of swords here so the four of swords this person you can see them like you know leveling up stepping up into a whole new space whole new mindset um this is definitely someone who's moving forward but there could be some distractions um, someone could be trying to distract this person if you look closely. Yeah, see the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck? So there could be someone trying to block someone from coming or from leaving, from leveling up. Because I always look at stairs as ascension, as like going, like degrees. It's like you're leveling up a degree, you're going up um, into a higher level of consciousness even. Uh, especially with that being the four, uh, the four of swords. So I do feel somewhat be mindful uh, that you don't get deceived by someone that wants you to, you know, go backwards. Uh, you got to be very mindful of that because you see how this lion, uh, this monkey is trying to dupe this lion. Um, and there's a couple of people that are in on it. So you could have a couple of people that are uh, kind of secretly plotting. So you have to be very mindful not to get sidetracked. Uh, also be mindful to keep your grand ideas to yourself because you can have some folks that could be trying to like, you know, pick your brain, steal some ideas. You definitely have someone that's uh, spying, wanting to communicate or wanting to um, express something. I'm going to get a couple more cards and then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, shade, beloveds. So we are 120. So I think like 130 should be good. So we got marriage on the bottom of the deck. And we're about to clarify the card for the spiritual partnership. Uh, communication is key. Solitude and this justice. So there could be a marriage in your future. Three is the empress. The empress is, um, you know, a maternal figure. The emperor is a paternal figure. You have great fortune. So there's going to be very, uh, you know, success and abundance in this union. Um, this eight and three reduces to 11. So you have a twin flame that you are destined to be with. Remember, I showed you that 1111 11 earlier um, in the picture. And then we saw 1111 11 a couple of times. So you all are coming into a very spiritual connection with your twin flame. I feel like there's great fortune, fame, success, opportunities. I feel this is a miracle that's coming true, a prayer that's being answered, um, and a mir you know, a wish that's being fulfilled by spirit, your angels, your ancestors. They're like there's something um, that's lying ahead for you. And it's because of your hard work that's paying off. Uh, we saw how you were, you know, kind of uh, cultivating and nurturing and planting seeds and, and doing your due diligence to help, um, you know, the, the, the soil become fertilized, you know, and whatever that may be, whatever that analogy applies to, whether it's in your career, whether it's within your own state of being, you know, your consciousness, your health and wellness, um, whether it's getting your household in order after a breakup, um, whether it's about getting promotions, whether it's about starting businesses, it's like whatever hard work that you've put forth, spirit has acknowledged it, noticed it, and now you're being rewarded. Remember how that person saw you was recognition and reward, and they were taking that bow, and there was a beautiful glow of light coming from the heavens so that's like spirit is has their hand on you you are anointed beloveds you are um, chosen so we have D'Angelo uh, send it on so maybe someone is um, you know questioning whether they should send that text you know they're, they're kind of checking your temperature you know they kind of checking uh, you know the forecast to see like what they should do how they should do it so we have family room 
on the bottom of the deck. This is 21, and that reduces to 3. 21 uh, in traditional tarot, that 21st card is the world. So there could be like physical distance uh, between you and this person. Um, there could also just be, like I said, you know, gaining a more profound perspective on life, you know, also learning, uh, you know, that knowledge of self. Um, the family room um, is really showing me like there is going to be uh, some some really strong uh, times with you and your divine counterpart where you all um, commune together, um, converse together, uh, plan together. Um, this is someone that sees you as an empress. This is someone that definitely feels like they can, you know, turn this house into a home. They could create like a home dynamic. This is a very warm and inviting home. Um, you know, the fireplace is going. So I could just imagine the crackling sounds of the fireplace. Just a very warm and inviting space. They could envision themselves, uh, you know, living in a home with you. Uh, you know, they see you as family. Um, so this is beautiful. I'm also getting like, you know, this person uh, with this 9-3. Maybe some of you all are, because um, that breaks down to 20, uh, that breaks down to 12, pardon me. And remember, we saw 9-3 and it said happy ending. So this 9 and this 3 here uh, from this card, because I'm getting 9 from the 27 uh, spiritual partnership and this 21 which reduces to three that was happy ending so there will be a happier ending once a karmic cycle uh, wraps up I'm absolutely feeling that and I feel like it will develop uh, with clear communication uh, with someone just finally expressing their truth stating the facts saying how they feel extending an apology if one is needed uh, but there is going to be uh, a happy ending once communication um, is is um takes place uh maybe someone will send a love letter or send a text through because it says send it on so someone will just you know muster up the strength to send it on uh whoever this is that same person 31 remember we saw that four and it said discontent and bored uh this person agonizes over you you, you know this person is really like with bad health i feel like you know this is really indicative of their heart being broken because that 31 deals with the four i mean breaks down to four which is the heart chakra so they're heartbroken you know they're heartbroken uh for numerous reasons uh including you know no communication with you um this is someone that agonizes uh over some sort of ending maybe there was a loss of a loved one maybe someone that they loved um transitioned you know maybe a masculine in their life a father a grandfather my ear is feeling like you know how when you're on a plane and it kind of like it feels like it's like popping that's how my ear just got when I started speaking of that so that could be a lot of pressure on someone is like you know someone is really struggling with perhaps um, the loss of a father figure um, a paternal figure in their life that could be a father a grandfather uncle even a brother a close friend um, you know I heard even a child so someone you know could have you know fell sick you know, gotten sick. Uh, as I was speaking earlier about, you know, uh, a lot of people who had uh, taken the hot shot a couple of years ago, um, you know, there's been just a lot of sudden deaths, you know, so maybe someone fell sick, fell ill, um, and they, they have transitioned into the spirit realm. Um, someone has been learning, you know, in, in someone's absence because maybe there's an ancestor or someone kind of like working behind the scenes uh, to help this person find balance within themselves to heal, you know, to to come into uh, equilibrium emotionally, mentally, even spiritually. Uh, so let's tap in. So why is this 57 teaching and learning um, a time to give rather than receive here? Um, um, what is this? Trapped in fear and the two of cups here for the person our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them. May have a message of love and a message of light. My beautiful angels, ancestors, spirit guides. May have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And so it says sudden, it says sudden wealth. And then we have 29 and it says imprisonment. So this is 1111. 
11, 11, and then we got this three. Someone could be married to someone. Someone could be literally feeling like they're stuck, stuck in some sort of codependent relationship. It's like maybe someone is well off. Someone may be very um, successful. Someone could have came up on some sort of lawsuit, got some sort of payout, um, you know, some sort of um, some sort of settlement insurance settlement but they still feel trapped they still feel unhappy this is 11 11 you know maybe someone will receive um you know some sort of um financial blessing which will get them it would be like um you know a get out of jail free card you know maybe someone is trapped in a connection or a relationship which seems very much like a prison um stuck in a mindset and maybe this will open up the way you know because 11 reduces to two two is like you know stuck in two mindsets it's like stuck at a fork in the road needing to make a choice needing to make a decision uh but not having the clarity this rat this means that they have someone around them that is very fugazi a trickster someone who speaks with a forked tongue this person appears to be communicating with this rat and this rat has got them locked up so they are you know perhaps trying to scheme there's some sort of scheme uh you know to get some sort of funds or using someone for money but keeping them trapped because i was feeling like this masculine was bound um you know maybe had some sort of love spell on them um and we have come live with me angel and this is by Marvin Gaye. And so, you know, this is someone that definitely sees marriage when it comes to you. Because we're about to pull the card. And look what fell when I picked up the card. This one stayed out. And we're about to pull the energy for how this person feels about you. And so, come live with me and Angel. This is what they want. They want your forgiveness. This could be someone that you could have resided with in the past, lived with, cohabitated. This could have been someone you was in a dom domestic partnership with. Or this could be someone that was in a domestic partnership with a karmic. And now they're realizing like they would have so much. Um, there would be just more synergy and chemistry uh, if they were with you than with anyone else. Because it, clearly they see you as like their wifey, their hubby. They see you as their, you know, their partner. Uh, remember, we had this three partnership and alliances and that's also three so this is about marriage this is about commitment this is someone that would be there for the long haul these two people are very committed they're holding on to one another very tightly and um i definitely am feeling like a sense of this person could that you're attracting is you know kind of like stuck in a karmic cycle um this person is trapped somewhere and it could be because, you know, they may have some sort of money, some sort of finances that somebody could be like codependent on. Um, but with this uh, unexpected income and remember, you had prosperity lies ahead. So whatever you are working on, I'm taking this card because whenever the card shows up, I, I take it. So I feel like spirit is saying like this is your message, obviously, because it came out when we are about to pull the message for you. And this is a number nine. So this is also showing like your hard work, your effort, your focus, your drive, you know, keeping your eyes on the prize is what has landed you into some sort of um, success, opulence, growth, expansion. And this person sees you as someone that they can build with, grow with, um, that they can plant seeds and roots with, someone that, that speaks their love language. They are very protected um, over you. You know, see how he's hugging her. You know, he's he's very protective of this divine feminine. But let me get an actual message. Um, so spirit, why is 96 forgiveness? Prosperity lies ahead. The empress, pros, uh, fertility, the, the uh, judgment card, and the unexpected income here for how this person Scorpios are attracting feels about them. They have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got great fortune. So you are a wish fulfillment. And you also have some sort of miracles, answered prayers. Something is taking place. Spirit is 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 showering you with fortune, fame, recognition, reward, blessings for your hard work. Uh, there is a divine masculine that is definitely concerned 
um, up in their head because they are hoping this is the three three six and remember we got 96 here which breaks down to 15 at six this is someone who's concerned about whether or not you're going to forgive them for their past actions this is a past person uh, six uh, is giving me like the six of cups six is also giving me like the lovers remember we had um um um, um something life by d'angelo um, another life was playing. So this is a, perhaps like, you know, that, that the, the lovers is really like a past life love, someone you've known in a former life. Uh, this person has a lot of concern. Um, I feel like they've received a lot of clarity. They've been going, you know, gray over this, like, cause they're, they're just kind of worrying. Um, just worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. So instead of like creating the narrative, cause remember trapped in fear, and then we got this here. It's like this person is really up in their head stressing over you. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with things that may have occurred in the past. This person could have abandoned you, rejected you, um, treated you like an option, didn't really give. There was no equal give and take. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't acknowledge you. They didn't see your worth and value. And they regret that now because now you're seen as this powerful divine feminine or divine masculine, something you've always been, but they failed to see it. And it was because they failed to see it in themselves. You can't see in others what you fail to see within yourself. So that's why we have self-love, self-discipline also here, because someone had to learn love is an inside job. You got to first love you before you could love anyone else. And so with this great fortune, I do feel like this is a destiny type of thing because this is like the wheel of fortune. So I do feel like there's, you know, some things moving around. There's some sort of uh, rewards uh, that are going to start um coming in um you know at a high pace because with this come live with me angel maybe this could be like uh someone professing or confessing um that they wish to take the connection to another level to a higher level this could be someone you know proposing this could be someone offering you love or commitment so why is 61 self-love three um what is that heartache and loss uh, obstacles and challenges hold your vision and the uh night of cups here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful scorpios we got the courthouse so somebody could be finally um you know signing the divorce papers finalizing this see this we got the um we got 37 poverty and the number one ma main male so someone could have been like living in a fear of like, um, you know, just just poverty, like feeling like they can't stand on their own. How are they going to survive? You know, maybe someone was very much afraid of living independently. So they stayed stuck somewhere um, doing part to, uh, you know, being, you know, kind of codependent on another relationship. 37 and one reduces to 11. So I definitely am feeling again, this is like that yin to your yang yang to your yin um but i also feel this is also one one two this is that person who's stuck in a mindset remember we had this imprisonment so this could be like lack mentality um you know because this this is like you know this young boy poverty so this could be a young mindset and them having to snap out of it this is a main male that you're dealing with even if it's a female and this is what they're they, they it's like duality it's like uh imprisonment you know, poverty and then sudden wealth. This is poverty, you know, this young boy, and then we have this main male. So it's like there has to be a death of the old way of thinking. And this and this makes 11. So there's someone who really focuses and, 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 and um, stresses over finances, uh, stresses over uh, their independence, um, how they're going to manage. And I do feel like they do uh, take on this new um, attitude. You know, this is like a new beginning. So, you know, what's hidden is they're coming out of this poverty or lack mentality. You know, maybe someone uh, was trying to find, you know, find a way to make money. Uh, whatever they were trapped in, that was causing a lot of confusion, um, a lot of fear, the competitiveness. Uh, they're, they're finalizing something. This is the courthouse. So this is really, you know, someone going to, uh, you know, take things into their hands in terms of uh, legal matters. Uh, we have, oh, so we have thoughts here. So can't, can't see that great fortune on the bottom of the deck. You guys got some, some, some definite um, blessings that are going to be paid out. 
uh, rewards, recognition. Spirit is not playing with this energy. Uh, if you've been doing your work, trust and believe you're in the season to receive. Um, this thoughts, whoever this is that's spying, they can't stop thinking about you. So they take time to, to research, to look up your information, to watch your videos. Um, they go through like, you know, they be having like um, whole days where they just be kind of going through all of your content. Um, you know, maybe they're just like scrolling through all of your photos, um, you know, just taking screenshots of things like this is someone that is constantly thinking of you. They've had some sort of epiphanic moment. We have uh, Erica Badu, Orange Moon. Uh, so this is definitely that person, um, you know, who is uh, in high thoughts. They could dream of you at night. I'm getting like intuition. Um, astral traveling even but this person will uh, will reach out will express something to you because their thoughts are becoming more intense the 16 reduces to 7 um, so the same energy I'm picking up from the moon the answers you seek it's like this person is sending you messages telepathically perhaps intuitively but they are finally going to um, you know say whatever it is that they've been feeling thinking whatever epiphanies they may have had with this light uh, the truth has you know, is going to set them free uh, perhaps set um, this connection you know on a different path uh, their sword is up so that means they are ready and prepared to state their case they are still a little guarded but they are opening up more you know they're not as guarded uh, as they may have been in the past and I feel like they're more ready willing and able to communicate this time around um, so this is a beautiful message for you all um, I also feel like you guys like I don't know what y'all are doing I said this before but there is really some blessings that are coming in for y'all and I feel like it's because you've been very focused and very determined to to just you know to win you know not win for anybody else but to win for yourselves to prove yourselves right to prove those who doubted you wrong like this is really about you just really mastering yourselves mastering your craft and the more work you do on yourself the more spiritual cards will start to appear in your readings and this is showing that you have someone that's matching your vibration your frequency uh and they're coming in beloveds they're coming in right and exact they've been doing their work they're ready and they've been learning and growing and healing and maturing, elevating and, uh, you know, ascending in the same right as you. Uh, you may have some folks that you might need to forgive uh, from your past so that your new could come in. So it's like you got to release the past so the new could come in. Uh, this could be just like, you know, a new love coming into this to this uh, cipher and just the new love could come in once you forgive your past. Um so this is beautiful. Um, you all have an apology coming in or some sort of confession, I feel. But there's definitely some blessings, some wishes. You know, some of you all may receive some promotions. Some of you all may just receive some sort of, um, you know, some sort of loan or someone may want to partner up with you. Uh, but there's expansion. You know, clearly there's expansion. There's fortune on the bottom of that deck. I love that card. That's a beautiful card because it shows that source is pouring out these bless these uh, blessings to you. Um, these opportunities. These are things that you, the prayers, the petitions, you know, the manifestation, um, you know, rituals and, and, and um, things that you have done, you know, during those new moons, during those full moons, during those waning and waxing moons, like all of those um, manifestation rituals and, 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 and techniques that you have been utilizing these past couple of months and it's now starting to materialize in this physical reality. You're starting to see things manifest into this physical reality uh, because you all are the alchemists. Ultimately, you are uh, the magis, you know, so you set the intention, you call in what you desire, you channel the right energy and you shall manifest. Uh, and this empress knows that the emperor knows that. Um, so they are master manifestors, master builders. So I send love and light to each and every one of you. If you are new and you found that this message resonated, 
if you so feel inclined definitely hit that subscribe button i would love to have you a member as the soul tribe soul family hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload um and definitely hit the like button you know share if you feel so inclined to all of you who are returning beloveds you already know what it is love is love is love i appreciate you all i love you all until next time i send a big fat ashe peace